Our final video in the virtual orientation series that you are completing is on uploading student work to the system. So here I'll show you the process of looking through your grade book again, um, finding an assignment that's not done, and making sure that we have it uploaded into the system so that it can receive a score from your teacher. So if we are here on the student main page again, and we are checking our grades, we'll go again to the menu into the grade book. And then let's go to our modern world history class again. Once we're in our modern world history class, we can scroll down through and see what has been submitted and what hasn't. So I notice right away that I have a red due date here, which means that there is a submission that is past due. Now, oftentimes there will be a zero already assigned there and zeros are assigned to past due work so that the student knows that the worst case scenario of the grade is there with the 0%. The student is still able to complete that work as long as they haven't submitted a plagiarized assignment previously and received a zero for a plagiarized assignment. So here, I notice that I have an assignment that I have not completed, which is the review number two in Age of Discovery. If I click anywhere here, it shows me the assignment and it also gives me a direct link to that area of my course. So if I click on that area of my course, it takes me to the submission box from earlier. This is the same assignment that we had earlier that had a grade, but now there is nothing submitted. So I wanna show you how to actually go through and submit work. We'll notice there is no grade next to the submission due date, and it shows a due date of 11.3. So even though we're a month past that, it's still going to let me submit my work in here. And the way to submit your work into a Dropbox is whenever you have a Dropbox that's showing up here, we're just gonna click on the plus button to add an attachment and we're going to attach a file. Here, we'll click choose. And then we need to go through our files and choose the appropriate file. So I have saved here on my virtual orientation folder, the age of discovery key terms, virtual demo student. I double click it. I could have also single clicked it and hit open. And now it shows up here as the file that I'm going to attach. All we need to do next is to upload that file. The system will take a second and then it will show you that you have a file here to upload. We aren't done yet. It is extremely important. Make sure after you have done that, that you go now and hit submit my work. You have successfully submitted this assignment. This confirmation lets us know that your assignment has been submitted and your teacher can now see that you have a submitted assignment. Here, we could have added comments. Um, for example, if you had some trouble with the assignment, you could show there that, hey, I struggled with number four on this assignment. I'd like to meet during an office hour to discuss. Um, I, I really enjoyed this assignment. Whatever type of feedback you'd like to give on the assignment, you can do so there. You can also choose not to leave any feedback. Here though, we have submitted our assignment. So if I go back now to my history course in my grade details, we can see that I do now have an assignment submitted. It shows exactly when it was submitted and at what time and how long after the due date, if it is late. Here it shows under the score, just this assignment icon so that we can see that the assignment has been submitted, but it has not yet been graded. If I go back to my grade book now and I start to scroll down, I can see that in that empty area now, the red for the due date is gone because we've submitted something. However, it does show us that we have submitted the assignment on today's date. It's in red because it's past the due date, but that's okay. You're not incurring a penalty for late submissions in non-CP courses and that the assignment is there ready to be graded by the teacher. This concludes showing the virtual learning management system. A few things about expectations for all virtual students, just as a reminder from your first orientation 
phone call with Mr. Gettner or meeting with Mr. Gettner or Mr. Kent. Make sure that you are spending about an hour a day on each course. For full-time students, attendance is five and a half hours per day. Any student that misses a day and needs to submit an excuse, needs to send an excuse to Lori Maxwell, the virtual secretary. If you have any questions, on the top here is contact information for Mr. Vincent, the virtual administrator, Mr. Kent, the online coordinator, and Mr. Gettner, the virtual school counselor. Make sure that you are in communication with your teachers as they will be your first contact to make sure that things are getting submitted and taken care of. If you have any further questions, please make sure to contact us and thank you for choosing the Warren County School District Virtual Learning Department.